For the first time, researchers have demonstrated that CO2 captured from the air can be directly converted into methanol, CH3OH, using a homogeneous catalyst. The benefits are twofold, the process removes harmful CO2 from the atmosphere, and the methanol can be used as an alternative fuel to gasoline. The work represents an important step that could one day lead to a future methanol economy, in which fuel and energy storage are primarily based on methanol. The study was led by G.K. Surya Prakash, a chemistry professor at the University of Southern California, along with the Nobel laureate George A. Ala, a distinguished professor at the University of Southern California. The researchers have published their paper on the CO2 to methanol conversion process in a recent issue of the Journal of the American Chemical Society. Direct CO2 capture and conversion to methanol using molecular hydrogen in the same pot was never achieved before. We have now done it. Prakash told Physical.org. Over the past several years, chemists have been investigating various ways of recycling CO2 into useful products. For example, treating CO2 with hydrogen gas, H2, can produce methanol, methane, CH4, or formic acid, CO. Among these products, methanol is especially attractive because of its use as an alternative fuel, in fuel cells, and for hydrogen storage. The chemical industry currently produces more than 70 million tons of methanol annually because the simple compound also serves as a building block for many larger compounds, including two of the most highly produced organic compounds, ethylene and propylene, which are used to make plastics and other products. A key factor in the CO2 to methanol conversion process is finding a good homogeneous catalyst, which is essential for speeding up the chemical reaction so that methanol can be produced at a fast rate. The problem is that these reactions require high temperatures, around 150 degrees Celsius, and unfortunately the heat often causes the catalysts to decompose. In the new study, the researchers developed a stable catalyst based on the metal ruthenium that does not decompose at high temperatures. The catalyst's good stability allows it to be reused over and over again for the continuous production of methanol.